As part of a study project, 10 students supervised by Professor Schlingensiepen developed and built the first LEGO sorting machine in the Laboratory for Engineering Informatics and Computer-Aided Mathematics in the summer semester 2011. The big challenge was initially the mechanics, especially the separation of the very different LEGO bricks. In the first machine, recognition was implemented partly mechanical and partly via image recognition using the LabVIEW toolbox from National Instruments. Some time passed, but the subject of LEGO bricks retained its fascination. Also, sorting LEGO bricks is a simple and all-time available example of a complex process. Engineers love building machines for those tasks. Since the project task for students' projects shall always represent a complete product development, it was obvious to build a machine in the summer semester of 2019 with a similar topic. This time the solution should use the cheap embedded system available today and the new and easy to integrate machine learning tools available on the market. So 10 students developed and built the LEGOLAS during the summer semester of 2019. LEGOLAS is a recursive acronym for LEGO Automatic Sorting. Maybe some of you already know this one. We link the video in the video description down below. In the same academic year, the team was awarded the prize for the best project work. We learned a lot while developing Legolas, but unfortunately it was permanently attached to the lab equipment, so it had to remain a mock-up. Based on this preliminary work, Vincent Smalke developed and built a new machine, the Legolas 2.0, in the winter semester of 2019 and 2020. Markus Steuerer undertook the task of developing and integrating the recognition of the different bricks. Both wrote their bachelor's theses on this under the supervision of Professor Schlingensiepen. Those theses are now the basis for the documentation wiki on GitHub. Indeed, the complete documentation is available there and on Onshape. You can find the links for these also in the video description down below. Along the way, over 72,000 photos and 300,000 rendered images of LEGO bricks were taken, which are available on the project page. Maybe you'd like to try your hand at machine learning and accept the challenge of developing a better solution than ours. The first step in product design is defining a functional structure. As with the first version of Legolas, the functions are pick up stones, separate stones, recognize stone, classify stone, place stone, and collect stone. Depending on the solution, there are different machine parts the stone has to pass. Therefore, another function, transport stones, has to be implemented. The stones are delivered in an overhead storage container because gravity serves as the energy supply for the transport steps. First, the stones are pre-separated in a rotating tube. After pre-separation, the stones fall into a chute, which completely separates the stones by swinging back and forth. The individual stones fall into a recognition box, a simple plexiglass tube. Here, they are recorded by three cameras. Due to the different recording angles, it is possible to recognize not only the color, but also the extensions of the stones in all spatial directions. The recognition is done by a neural network, which was created and learned by TensorFlow. The assignment to the collection bins is done by a rotating tube whose end is bent. After recognition, the kinked part is rotated into the direction of the matching collection bin. And the image chamber is rotated so that the recognized stone falls into the kinked tube at the top and then comes out at the bottom in the direction of the matching collection container. Using this simple approach, 10 different outputs were realized, which are sufficient for the 10 basic colors of the LEGO world. In this video, you see the demonstration at the Landesgarten Show in Ingolstadt, where the machine sorts only by color. For a real-life application, we have implemented a stack mode, where different bricks are first sorted together into joint storage bins. These joint storage bins are containing a limited number of different types of bricks, thus resorting them results in fully sorted bins. We hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration. The links to the documentation of the Legolas 2.0 can be found in the video description down below. Get inspired to build your own machine or build an improved version of ours. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.